guys. Okay, so I have got a concealer for you today. This is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Fast Base Concealer Lightweight Buildable Coverage to Conceal Dark Circles and Imperfection. Imperfections. Okay, so this is what have I tried this? I don't think I've tried this one. I don't know, actually. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> I'm I'm almost positive that no, I haven't. I have not tried this one. Okay. I've tried a concealer palette that they've had, and then I tried the Conceal and Define concealer from um, Revolution. Is it Makeup Revolution or is it just Revolution? Like, there's like three different ones. There's Makeup Revolution, Revolution, and then Revolution Pro. Are they all the same? Like, I don't know. Someone, let, someone in the comments tell me that, or let me know if you if you know, let me know. Okay, this is the shade. Hmm. Hmm. Uh oh, it doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't have a shade on it. Anyway, it was not the lightest shade. You guys know that already. Yeah. No shade name. Well, how are people going to know? Oh, C9. There we go. It's not a name. It's a number. C9. Okay. So it looks like this. It's got one of these soft... Um, puffy tops. Okay. And of course it's going to take forever to click up. So, ah, not forever. There it is. Okay. So again, not the lightest shade. Um, I've got a foundation video to do today as well. So we'll just do the dark eye. We won't do both eyes. Um, let me make sure I've got the concealer brush today, which I do. So, all right. Um, again, finish my thought. My train of thought is constantly derailed as you guys know. Not the lightest shade, but more like a color correcting type shade. It's very thin feeling. It's not thick at all. It feels very lightweight. So that claim could very well be true. Oh. I'm not using my very favorite brush, very favorite concealer brush. I'm just using a brush that I had. this brush for a very long time and I got it at Big Lots so it was a closeout. Okay, so in real life it's looking really good. Like it's looking pretty good coverage. It's looking like better coverage in real life than it is on camera. On camera it's looking like not that great of coverage. But in real life pretty decent. Um it feels like it's kind of drying down. It felt pretty, um, yeah, oh yeah, okay. So it's drying down pretty good. It's not, it's feeling a little tiny bit tacky on the edges right in here. It's not feeling too tacky. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm creasing right there. I always have a crease there, but it, that's looking a bit more pronounced than what I'm used to. Um, it looks really pretty natural on the skin. I've got a little tiny bit of like clinging right there. But honestly, not that much. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more. It's not really covering up my my very darkest areas. So what I'm going to do is put a second layer. I'm going to let it sit for a second. I'm going to put a little bit around my nose just to see. A little bit right there. I, I'm breaking out like a little 13-year-old girl right now. So that's sort of a bummer. But at least we can test this concealer, right? I'm gonna let, for, let it sit for a second to dry down a tiny bit so that way we can get the best coverage possible. Yeah, I'm as a first impression, this is looking really natural on the skin. So this seems to me like it would be one of those that is pretty good for um, like no makeup days, but you still wanna have a little bit of coverage. Like I like to do that no makeup days but still put some concealer on because I mean my dark circles they make me look like a walking zombie I guess that's what I guess that's what zombies do that was that was a little redundant but you get my you get my drift don't you okay so I feel like that brightened and it the coverage looks the same on second layer to be honest 
Um, but again, I do feel like that's a pretty brightening shade. Um, I feel like it's wanting to cover up my pores pretty good too, to an extent. I mean, they're, they're not looking like the most amazing. You can still kind of see them. I've got very large open pores here and like all on my nose, like a lot of very large open pores. Yeah, okay, so like as a first impression, what I'm liking most about this, um, it's reflecting some light too, but anyway, what I'm liking most about this concealer is that it's very natural looking on the skin. Like, I, I think this is probably the most natural looking concealer that I've ever tried. Um, it's just, I mean, just blending in. Like, it's not offering a ton of coverage, which is such a bummer because if it offered a little bit more coverage, um, then I would probably say this is a really good one and you should try it out. Of course I'll wear it for the rest of the day and just make sure to see how it lasts and that kind of stuff. But as a first impression, it's not fully matte. It's still got some, I'm getting some glow on that. But it's looking so natural on my skin and just like the, the skin of my face and the skin for, on my under eyes. So that's kind of a tall order for me since I am 40 years old to look that natural and not uh, crusty, crepey, and just gross on your under eyes. So anyway, I will wear this for the rest of the day. Update my thoughts in the description below. Um, please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!